Hello everyone, I want to talk to you about some findings, you know, that I've been doing, of course, you know, I love research, I love a neuroscience, I love testing on things, you know, that I think they're important and people need to look for a little bit more, uh, you know, because I am just my own researcher, you know, I really have all these questions that I need to unveil. Since I was little, I always like to prove, you know, proof of concept, you know, see, when it comes to, you know, when I start looking for answers, you know, and I saw that I am pretty good at it. So when I started looking for answers after I lose my hearing, you know, after becoming deaf, um, I started looking for more answers because I didn't know what was happening to me. And of course I had to find out a little bit more, but the more I tried to find out what happened to me, the worse it was. Uh, because everything was just all the answers just were inside of me even though I didn't have a physical explanation of what happened to me I still have to accept you know the fact that there were things that could not be answered anymore you know even though I tried so hard to do that there were things that just you know they just don't have an answer uh, many people in the spiritual realm, you know, or, you know, spiritual side, talk to me about why did I lose my hearing loss, their past lives, uh, people in my other lives that they, you know, they did these things that, you know, in my life that made me lose my hearing, or I will find all these answers in different ways, but all of those answers just came to the same point. And it was acceptance. Acceptance is something so big, you know, and people don't think about it because we're always trying to find an answer for everything. And our brain always is, you know, judging, is asking these questions when we find all these challenges. And sometimes we just need to let it go and just be, you know, just be ourselves. Even though I had this problem, I know I had to move on. Uh, I had to accept the fact that I had a limitation and I had to do my life from now on in a different way. And the more I was looking for answers, the more I was getting more anxious, the more panic attacks I had because I was living in the frustration mode, not finding the right clues, the right things, the, you know, what was satisfying my curiosity about why these things happen and things happen for a reason, you know, when I look back, it is, you know, it is something that added to my life and it's something that added to this point in my life where I am right now. So I just want you to think about that instead of looking for why, why is this person saying this? Why is this, why did this person did this to me? Why, you know, why not getting this job? Why all these things, instead of looking for that, just let things go and let things be the way they are. I'm not saying just to be negative. I'm saying keep a positive mind frame, of course, on everything. But don't start pushing yourself so hard about finding why, because those are things that sometimes don't have response, Try right? To look for the answers inside of you and then you'll find them. Everything will start and building, you know, unleashing when you start looking inside. That's what I did, for example, when I started meditating, I started leashing all these layers, you know, that I didn't know that will find. I started looking, you know, that meditation really helped me to connect, you know, to that part that I didn't have. And now in that part, in that connection, I found peace and I found a way to let go and to not be attached to all these feelings of finding why, why my divorce, why my hearing loss, why my business fell, why all these things, you know? So I just let things go like that. And the more I do that, the more I feel that I can connect, you know, with myself and connect to that divinity, you know, divine side of me, my higher, you know, self and my higher purpose too. So I just want to think of, you know, to let you know more about this but please don't be so hard on yourself okay
okay uh, and think about what I said. Let me know in the comments if this, you know, resonates with you and I talk to you soon. Bye-bye.